-hmm. So whilst we're looking at real placement, I like mine on a big rod, on a full powerful rod, so this is above my chest and where my thumb lays, normally just about 30 inches. But when we're back casting, and which I do for uh, when I'm using heavy weights and when I want to use my hips to get into the cast, we swap hands and I like it here. Right? If you put it too close when you finish the cast, you can do yourself damage. And dear Dave was telling me about when he did a back cast once, he come through and the line broke and he come up and broke a rib. Wow. Right, so you want to make sure it's sort of far enough that when you do the cast it does miss you if something goes wrong. But also that it's in a position where you can wind the fish in and fight the fish. And the rod always feels so much more high. So, I about there. Do about that. There you go, yeah, good point. From your elbow to where you tip of your fingers. Good? Good point. Jack, sir, tell them about your back cast. Experience. You'd never thrown before, had you? No, and um, I had arthritis real bad in this elbow. I don't have it now, but I did for, and I, I couldn't do a pendulum because it would hurt. And so I started using a back cast, and just the difference in the mechanics of the cast, I cast a long way using the back cast without hurting anything. So I like using it for that. And, and I mean, you now use a long rod, you back cast big baits and big weights. And you target Pompano as good as anyone. Isn't That's it? right. Yeah. And he fished all his life, but never used that type of equipment. Just before we go anywhere else, just when I first on. come to Texas, there was a dear gentleman named Artie Abear, who more than likely anyone in the rod wrapping business will know of, and he really should be the most popular fisherman in the world because as he got old and got ill, I took his company over. And he brought, he had made a set of videos on rod building and wrapping and certain rod wrapping techniques that he'd invented. And I could clearly see that he'd sold like over 70,000 of these videos. So, you know, 70,000 videos of you going out there means you're quite a popular guy. He's an amazing character. He died a couple of years ago, but I actually took his company over and I've got this set of videos which are available on nickaway.com on rod building and rod wrapping and they show you all the techniques of doing the beautiful weaves that Artie did before he passed away and um, went on to Rodville, wherever it is. Anyhow, great guy, started off life in Louisiana. He earned his money trapping neutras and selling catfish. Bought his first car and then he went into the rod wrapping business and become world famous. And then we got his company and all his videos. So if you want to know how to do the wraps and everything, go on this website, nickaway.com, and buy some of these videos. It'll be the best thing you can do. And uh, maybe future uh, for the uh, iPhone in the future. Yeah, and we'll be doing it on iPhone as well. Thanks, Sapo, for doing this for us. You're a good man. Oh, hang on, we've got someone here. Sanderling. <laughs> My presence has been requested this morning. Uh, is that is yes? That an accurate statement. So um, additional lessons will be available uh, from myself. Uh, we can so learn what are you doing, things. Sandling? I will title this "Not What Not to Do with Your Rod." Well, what's wrong with that? You uh, did that last week. Show oh, that was your help. That but was tell them what you did. Well, really, what this you've never wrapped was, a rod, have you? I've never wrapped a rod before. I've never built a rod. I'm a beginner. I have no idea what I'm doing but it's really not that complicated you just have to have all the right materials I think that was the biggest challenge having the foam grips the reel seat the eyelets and obviously the knowledge of where to put all this stuff once you just got your blank so you're still you got a little ways yet to go I've got a ways yet to go it looks good yeah. but the wrapping is definitely learnable and at least for me, it was enjoyable enough to where I'm already wanting to do another one when I finish this one. So, uh, and what have you got to tell Mike about your rod compared to his? Uh, if Mike, if you're watching this, I pity you. You're at work. You probably are just living your life through me right now, but that's okay. I don't mind. Um, and uh, you know, get home quick so you can build another rod down to this one. That's <laughs> the competition's on. 
Yeah. All right, anyhow, we've got a full range of blanks and everything available at